Hi guys, we're out on the maple syrup deck and today we're talking about buckets, bags, and jugs. And this is what you would use to collect your maple sap. And each one of these items has pros and cons. And let's talk about this real quick, okay? So the first thing we have are buckets. And this is a five gallon food grade bucket. We have a hole drilled right here so that you can take a spile and it'll hold on to the bucket right here and hold it up on the tree. We also have uh, a lid on top. This keeps out any of the uh, debris from up above. It keeps out rain, snow, sleet, anything else from mixing in with your sap. Uh, if there are squirrels or birds that uh, land or climb on top of the tree above it and knock down some of that bark, this lid keeps all the debris out. So that's why we have this nice hole in the side so that your sap only comes in through here and the rest of it's covered. The other nice thing about a five gallon bucket is the capacity, five gallons. It sounds like a lot of sap, but on some big silver maple trees like I have in my yard, or on some large sugar maples, you can collect easily three, four, possibly even five gallons of sap in a single day. So you might wanna have a large food grade five gallon bucket to hold your sap. The disadvantage of the bucket is that at the end of the season, you are going to have to scrub out the inside of the bucket, make sure it's clean, and then you're gonna to have to find a place to store all these buckets. If you have 50 taps, that's 50 buckets you're gonna to have to take care of. So that's a lot of buckets to manage. The next thing we have are the sap bag holders and the sap bags. And these are pretty common. They're sold on the internet or at the local nature stores. You have the bag holder, you have the small bracket that you hook the bag around and then it slides into here and it holds it in place. These will fit spiles that are 5 16 in size. They could be 7 16 in size. As long as that little spile fits inside of this hole and it's big enough, you'll be fine, you can hold that up. What's nice about the bag holder and the bag is that it is about three gallons in size. So that's the volume it'll hold, which is a pretty good amount. It's somewhat translucent, so you can actually see the sap inside the bag when it hangs on the tree, especially in the sunlight. So you can see from a distance if you need to drain it or not. Whereas with the bucket, you don't really know how much is in there until you actually pop the lid and take a look inside. Another advantage to the bag is that at the end of the season, um, a lot of these bags get full of bugs like ants and moths, and sometimes they get a little moldy. You can dispose of the bag. You're out 85 cents. You can purchase new bags each year or even during the course of the season, add new bags. That is one of the disadvantages though too, is that these bags can rip, especially on a windy day. They start to blow around on the tree and it slides on the bark and sometimes the bag rips and uh, you lose the rest of your sap. So that's kind of a problem. Um, also in comparison to the bucket, the bucket holds five gallons, the bag holds three. So on a really nice big tree, like say a 40 inch diameter silver maple or sugar maple, you might fill up five gallons in a day. With these bags, it's gonna overflow, it could rip, it could tear this plastic bag off, and that would be a problem for you. Now, the last item we have are the super low cost items, or if you have smaller trees. These are just simple milk jugs, okay? And what I've done is cut a hole in here with a little pocket knife, and that's where your spile fits on there. It's attached to the tree and it hooks on just like that. So it'll hook onto the tree and hold it on. The advantage to the jugs is that they cost nothing. They're milk jugs, juice containers, distilled water, whatever it is, you just clean them off and uh, make sure you rinse everything thoroughly so there's no odors or no foul taste in there. Food grade quality. At, at the end of the season, you can crumple it up and dispose of it in your recycle bin. So it's really easy to take care of. The disadvantage to the jugs is with the hole cut here, they really don't even hold one gallon of sap. If you have large trees and they produce two or three or four gallons of sap in a day, 
your sap's going to start to drip out of them and you're going to lose tons and tons of sap during the course of the season. So what I like to do is I take these jugs early in the season when the sap is first starting because the sap tends to flow pretty slowly. Some of the taps aren't even really active. So you can see as the sap starts to fill up because the milk jugs are kind of translucent here, you can see it filling up. Once these start to get to the point where they're filling up nearly every day, or a couple times a day, you want to switch over to either a five gallon bucket or else you want to go with the bag holder, something bigger to hold your sap in. So these are just some simple low cost examples of how you get started with collecting your sap. Again, you have the five gallon bucket, high volume, um, nice lid on it, very durable, but then also you need long term storage and cleanup. You have the bags, which the bags are renewable. They hold about three gallons. Um, again, something else you can continue to use year after year. And then you have the low cost milk jugs, which are small in size. And um, you'll need to replace these at the end of the year. But again, not a problem. But it's just the low volume is gonna be an issue if you have large trees. If you'd like to find out more about our channel and some of our maple videos, Tune in and um, subscribe to our YouTube channel and follow us here.